All right. Hi, good morning, everybody. It's Annie and Baby Bees with our next installment of Zoom into Science. And before we get started, I want to remind everybody that you always should uh, talk with your grown-up before doing any science experiments and make sure you have their permission or their supervision if you need it, okay? So uh, make sure to get your grown-up ready. So let's introduce our class today. We have our teacher, Miss Sally, and then our students. We have Lucy who's in third grade, and it looks like you have a special friend there. Who's that? Lucille. Lucille, and then we also have Pippa, who is a kindergartner. Pip, who do you have? Roxy. Roxy, all right. It looks like today's gonna be a really fun lesson. So Miss Sally, let's take it away. Okay, hi girls. Hi. Hey, Pip and, uh, Pip and Lou. Uh, and I have been doing some little science activities uh, to uh, learn some principles uh, about science and, and how to do science. And today's activity, I'm calling Walk on Water. Now, girls, can you walk on water? I don't think so. I don't think I can. I don't think so, she says. Well, you know, I know you girls like to hike and uh in your family and i know that your dad likes to take you to the stream a lot you may have actually seen this animal that can walk on water what it's called skiers. yeah or it's called the water strider or water skier that's right and so some animals can actually walk on water and today we're going to uh talk about how is that possible? So for today's activity, you need a, a bowl, just like a cereal bowl, and you're gonna need some water, and I have mine here in this container so I don't have to go back and forth to the sink. And I think you girls, I think your mom already put the water in yours, didn't she? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to make this, maybe not even half full of water, just put a little in there. And then you also need a bunch of different size and shapes, maybe colors of paper clips. They, uh, you know, I have ones like this, ones like this. I've got some big ones. I've got some tiny ones. Some of them are colored. Some of them are striped. Just a whole bunch that I had sitting in my desk. And I think uh, you girls have a little bag of paper clips too, don't you? Okay, so, you know, the water striders, they're not supposed to be able to walk on water. They shouldn't be able to, but how can they do that? Well, let me tell you, you got your kids there sitting down? Okay, you maybe not know, maybe don't know this, but water is sticky. Not sticky like pancake syrup, sticky in that the water likes the water drops all like to stick together and when they stick together they kind of make a little invisible film or a little invisible layer on top of the water and that is called water tension. Now, Lucy, you were telling me this morning about that it was sun shining and raining at the same time. And I said, oh, is it just water dripping off the roof? And you said, no, it was sprinkling. But think of water that might drip off the roof. You know how that water drop gets long and kind of holds together and then finally lets go? That's because of the surface tension. So what we're going to do today is we're going to just do a very simple activity with some paper clips to try and demonstrate this surface tension and how those water striders walk on water. Now, <clears throat> so first what we want you to do is we want you to pick a paper clip, any one of your paper clips. Okay, and I'm just going to pick a regular size paper clip. Now, don't do it yet. 
but we're just going to drop this into the water. And what I want you to do is to predict. Oh, and that's a great science word. You know, I'm going to add that onto our list. Remember, I've told you that if I was in my classroom, I would have a word wall. And we don't have a word wall, but we do have a word paper. So predict. Do you guys know what it, the word predict means? Or if you make a prediction, hey Lou. It means to like think what's gonna happen in the future. Right, to think what's gonna happen in the future. So let's, before we put the paper clip in, let's predict or think what's gonna happen to that paper clip when we put it in the water. Pippi, Pippi. I'd like you to make a prediction. What do you think's gonna happen to the paper clip when we put it in the water? I think it's gonna sink. You think it's gonna sink. Lou, what's your prediction? I think it's gonna float. You think it's gonna float. All right, so take your paper clip and just drop it in the water. And what happened? Whose prediction it was right? Sank. It just sank to the bottom, didn't it? Right. But remember what I said, there's an invisible layer, a film, a force, a skin on the surface of the water called surface tension. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to try and take advantage of that surface tension and see if we can make the paper clip float or walk on water. Pippi, you look kind of uh, like you don't believe that we're going to be able to do that. You can leave the paper clip in there. Now take one of the bigger paper clips that you have and watch what I want you to do. I just want you to, now watch, I want you to unfold it so it makes an L. Can you do that? <clears throat> right. Oh, Andy, you're doing the activity too? Great. Okay. Do you have your L? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Let me see yours, Pippi. Okay, great. Now, this part gets a little tricky. And remember, I've practiced this one a lot. So you might not get it the first time, but hopefully you'll be able to eventually. All right, so now let me explain what I'm going to do first, and then you can do it. So I took another paper clip, and I'm going to balance it. Whoa, don't do it yet. I'm going to balance it on this. And the one I unfolded is going to be like a little uh, handle. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly drop this, lower it, until just when it gets to the surface of the water. And if we're very, very lucky, when I put it in the water, it will float on the water. You gotta go slowly. So lower it down. Mine started to float. How about yours, Annie? Mm -hmm. Oh, it did. I'm gonna like I said, it might take uh, some practice for you girls. Let me show you mine. So you see, I have the one in the bottom, and my other paper clip is floating on the top. Well, right now it's sank, but it is. Uh, can you get yours to float? No. I can. Try again. Like I said, you might, I practiced a lot of times. And you have to, the idea, the, the whole idea is that you have to do it very slowly. And when it hits the water, you want to remove the handle part and let the, oh, there it goes. It's floating. Lou, can you get yours to float? Great. She can't get hers to float. That's because Well, try a different paper clip. Or maybe you want to try a different handle. Try another paper clip, different handle. 
I lost. How's yours looking, Annie? I don't I've got two at the top and two at the bottom. Yeah, uh, one of mine sank, but one of mine is still floating. <laughs> now, I wonder why, remember what we're talking about. I wonder why that one paperclip is able to float on the surface of the water. What did I tell you on the surface? Do you remember? There's surface tension. There's like a film. And so, excuse me. And so the one that we, we carefully lowered into the water, it's actually the surface tension of the water is holding it up. The first one, Pippi, that you predicted would sink, when we just dropped it in there, that paper clip broke the surface tension, broke that film and sunk to the bottom. So there's, this is how the water strider works too. The water strider has special, um, special body parts that allow them to live in that watery in habitat and to stay on the water surface. Hey Lou. I use that word, habitat. I know that was one of your science words uh, for your virtual school this uh, week. Do you remember what habitat means? Uh, the place where an animal or human lives. That's exactly right. So man, there's another great science word. I'm gonna add it to our list, habitat. Hey, Sally, I know that and, uh, we've got all kinds of great words on our list now. Yes, um, Annie. I noticed that the four paper clips that I got floating have all gotten close together, even though I put what? them in the water far apart. What did we say about water, girls? We said that it like it is sticky. And the water likes to stick together. And so Annie, even though she put the paper clips all over the surface, the water is sticking oh. and pulling together to pull those clips together. Now, what else do you think we could do to test the strength of that surface tension? Annie's doing one of those things right now. What did Annie do to test how strong the surface tension of the water is? What did Annie do with her paper clips? She put them far apart. Right, she put them far apart and she added a bunch of them. I wonder how many paper clips how strong the surface tension is. So you could see how many paper clips you could get uh, to float. Also, guess what? I have this weird plastic paper clip. I wonder if the surface tension could hold that up. I wonder, is there any difference if I use one that's a different color? Like we've been using the silver ones. What if I use a striped one or a red one? And you know, all liquids have a surface tension. What other liquids do you think we might check their surface tension? Syrup. We a great one, syrup. How about you, Lou? Can you think of a, a liquid we might use? Mil uh, milk. M milk would be a good one. We could, here's one we used last week with the lava lamp. We used oil. We used oil, yeah. So we could test how, how strong it is to see if, uh, how many paper clips. Oh my gosh, Annie, how many are you getting? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight floating. Wow. That's some pretty saw a strong surface tension. And we could test, does it, uh, does the surface tension get changed by the shape and the size 
and the makeup of the what what it's uh what it's made of does because here's a really big silver one man i wonder if i could make that one float i bet not i bet it's too hard for the surface tension let me try this one no it's too heavy the surface tension won't hold it we could check different uh, liquids so there's all kinds of different things that we can uh, investigate about the surface tension. And I think that Pip and Lou and I and uh, Annie, we're gonna go off and we're gonna check um, some of those other uh, variables that could affect or change the surface tension. Now remember, whenever you uh, do this little activity, uh, we would love if you would put some comments in the comment section. Maybe show us a picture of your floating uh, paper clips. Maybe show us a little video. Remember, always have an adult with you uh, on any of these activities and um, make sure that you get their permission. So today, surface tension walk on water you know i wonder girls would water ever have enough surface tension for us to be able to walk on it hmm we'll have to investigate that one a little bit more too won't we okay so um we will see you next time check in with us and uh, do you uh, girls have anything else you'd like to say? Do you want to wave goodbye with your special friends and have your friends wave? And we will see you all next time. I'm going to be free. Thanks, Sally. Be okay, bye-bye, girls. Bye-bye. See you next week. Yes.